What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to my channel. Today I want to give you guys my first impressions on the Microsoft Xbox One. Now before I get started with my thoughts on the system, I want to let you guys know, you probably already know, for the first year of the Xbox One's release, I was an avid opponent of Microsoft's Xbox One. Um, I, I did not like the way that the Xbox was revealed. I did not like the policies they tried to push forward with the Xbox One. I didn't like the price. I didn't like the, you must have a connect on at all times. I did not like the, the fact that you could not at the time share games with your friends. It was just a big cauldron of nasty to me. I did not like anything about the system. And I felt like Microsoft at that time was taking advantage of, of gamers and basically telling you what to do with something that you own after you buy it. And I just did not like that whole analogy of if you can't afford an Xbox One, we got an Xbox 360. It was just a bunch of bad stuff that happened. Uh, during the release and the reveal of the Xbox One. But luckily, uh, tides change. You know, over the course of maybe the first eight months, uh, Phil Spencer, after he took the helm of Xbox, he started to change the tides and he started to go 180 on a lot of those policies. They went 180 on the, the DRM very early. Uh, after about six months, they went 180 on the Connect. Then they went 180 on the 499 price point and brought it down to 399. Then they brought it down to 349. And then they stopped talking about TV all the time. I felt like I was watching the Emmys or something. Uh, it was just nothing but TV, nothing but TV, integrated TV. And I'm a gamer. I have every game console. I mean, that's what I do. And so when I, when I think about a new console, that's what I want to hear about. I want to hear about the new Gears of War. I want to hear about the new Halo. I want to hear about Quantum Break. And uh, I was hearing a lot of the TV initially. But luckily for me, Phil Spencer kind of brought it around, brought it back around to me and said, okay, look. Our uh, original vision of what the Xbox was is not what it is. This is our new vision. We want you to be a part of it. And I actually, it resonated with me. It felt like it was a game console again. They were talking about video games. They were showing video games. They were getting nice exclusives. I was like, okay, Microsoft is doing well. They dropped the price. No connect. So I went on and bought one. I had my Xbox One for about, I'd say, two weeks now. And uh, I've, I've done some pretty extensive playing on it. I, I bought the... Uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Unity Combo, I also picked up Halo Master Chief Collection, Titanfall, and I just bought uh, Dead Rising 3, but that has not arrived yet. So the other games are played, I got the Xbox games with Gold, uh, uh, Rayman Legends, I like that game, and uh, here I am, just starting off ground floor, so I'm giving you guys my thoughts and my impressions. First of all, the console is huge, <laughs> you know. I've seen it before, but when you actually see it right there in your entertainment system, it's pretty big compared to you know some of the other systems. It's about as big as a PS3, I would say, but it, it looks you know kind of kind of boring, the square. But everybody knows that. Uh, the one thing that I did not like, and I do not like, and hopefully uh, with this Windows 10 integration that changes, the user interface of the Xbox One is extremely convoluted. It seems unnecessarily complicated, and. Uh, just to do something simple, you gotta go through screen after screen after screen and prompt after prompt, and I just don't like that. I'm a computer guy, I don't have any issues with computers, but I don't feel like you should be a computer science whiz to, you know, change your theme or to change your, your gamer tag or to do simple things that on other platforms are really easy. Uh, I think that the Xbox One is a very complicated machine. They, they designed it to be complicated because it does so much, but I don't think that they intended for that to be transferred over to the UI the way it has. It seems very convoluted, uh, and I just don't like it. Hopefully it changes pretty soon, but as of now, uh, that gets a thumbs down from me. Now going on to the TV stuff. As I said before, I'm not a big TV guy, but I do like some of the stuff they did. Uh, they do have some really nice streaming features. They got USA, they got HBO, they got all this good stuff, Hulu, and uh, some of that stuff is on PlayStation, but I'm telling you now, there's a lot more on Xbox One as far as TV goes uh, than there is on PlayStation. Uh, the games. I really can't say too much for Halo because Halo is a, a remake in a sense other than you know the Halo 2 anniversary. Uh, but games like Titanfall, this game here, uh, games like Dead Rising 3, which I played the demo, looks alright, doesn't look like a next-gen game. They run well though. You know, Titanfall runs extremely well. 6v6, it was very fun uh, and I've really enjoyed that. Uh, and uh, I'm actually looking forward to some of these other exclusives. I got my Xbox One based on exclusives alone. Quantum Break is one of the best looking games I've seen in a long time. And if this finished product looks as good as the 
previous gameplay footage they showed us. I'm super excited about it. Excited about Ori and the Blind Forest. Uh, so the games front, I just have to give that a thumbs up for sure. I'm really enjoying them. I think that they did a good job. I think that the Xbox is definitely heading in the right direction. The 349 price point, definitely give that a thumbs up. You know, you're getting more bang for your buck. Uh, and especially if you got one of the earlier bundles, you get a lot of bang for your buck. So I think that they did an excellent job there. Uh, and uh, last but not least, the Xbox One's controller. Now, I will say this. I like the Xbox 360 controller. Xbox One controller feels kind of similar, but now I've been introduced to the, the PlayStation 4's uh, DualShock 4, and the Xbox One controller does not compare to the DualShock 4. Well, maybe it compares, but it's my personal preference. I like the DualShock 4 more. I do not like the triggers on uh, the uh, Xbox One controller, but other than that, it feels tight. The uh, analogs feel responsive, and it feels pretty good. And uh, overall, I have to say the Xbox One, I definitely recommend it uh, for the price. For what you get, you get a lot of bang for your buck. And if you're one of the, the adopters that got it around the holidays, the 349, you also got an awesome game mode. So I definitely recommend this console. Uh, I'm happy to see that Phil Spencer's turned this thing around. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what Microsoft does with this console in the near future and in the years to come. As always, thank you guys for all the support. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you're looking for me on Xbox One, my gamer tag is I am Beastly Gamer. That's simple. And I am the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.